In the realm of sports cars, two names often echo loud, the Toyota Supra and the Nissan 370Z. These are not just mere automobiles but icons that have carved deep grooves in the tracks of automotive history. The Toyota Supra, a Japanese sports car legend, is renowned for its high performance, dramatic design, and the thrilling driving experience it offers. Its popularity was further catapulted by its appearances in pop culture, making it a darling among car enthusiasts worldwide. On the other hand, the Nissan 370Z, another Japanese marvel, stands tall with its raw power and sleek design. Known for its agility and speed, the 370Z has been a favorite among those who crave adrenaline on wheels. Its rich heritage and continued evolution have kept it at the forefront of the sports car segment. Both these cars have a strong fan base, owing to their unique capabilities and historical significance in the car industry. Now that we've set the stage it's time to delve into what makes these cars tick. Performance is key in a sports car and both the Supra and the 370Z have plenty to offer. Let's dive into the heart of these beasts, the engine. The Supra houses a 3-liter inline-six turbocharged engine, a collaboration with BMW. This powerhouse delivers an impressive 335 horsepower. On the other hand, the 370Z is powered by a 3.7-liter V6 engine, pushing out 332 horsepower. A close call indeed but the Supra takes the lead in horsepower. Now let's talk about acceleration. The Supra bolts from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just over 4 seconds, thanks to its quick-shifting 8-speed automatic transmission. The 370Z, however, with its 6-speed manual gearbox, takes a little over 5 seconds to reach the same speed. So in terms of raw acceleration, the Supra takes the crown. Top speed, you ask? Both cars are quite evenly matched. The Supra maxes out at 155 miles per hour, while the 370Z is not far behind, with a top speed of 150 miles per hour. So, if you're all about pushing the speedometer to its limits, either car will satisfy your need for speed. Handling, the very essence of a sports car, is where these two machines differ. The Supra, with its adaptive suspension and finely tuned steering, offers a smooth and controlled ride, perfect for weaving through city streets or hugging the curves on a coastal road. The 370Z, with its slightly stiffer suspension, provides a more raw and connected feel, better suited for those who prefer a more visceral driving experience. As we can see, both cars have their perks when it comes to performance. The Supra, with its superior horsepower and acceleration, is a great choice for those who crave speed and precision. The 370Z, with its raw handling and close-to-the-ground feel, is perfect for drivers who want to feel every inch of the road, but there's more to a car than just raw power. A sports car isn't just about performance, it's also about style. So how do these two fare in the design department? First, let's take a look at the Toyota Supra. This car has a sleek and aerodynamic design that truly makes it stand out on the road. Its long hood and short rear deck give it a classic sports car profile, while its wide stance and low center of gravity hint at its performance capabilities. The Supra's double bubble roof not only adds to its distinctive look, but also provides more headroom for the driver and passenger. The LED headlights with their sharp angular design add a modern touch to this classic sports car. Inside, the Supra offers a driver-focused cockpit that perfectly blends form and function. The seats are upholstered in high-quality leather and they provide excellent support and comfort even during high-speed driving. The dashboard is clean and uncluttered, with all controls within easy reach. And despite its compact size, the Supra offers a surprisingly spacious interior. Now let's turn our attention to the Nissan 370Z. This car has a more traditional sports car design, with a long hood, a short rear deck, and a sloping roofline. Its wide and low stance gives it an aggressive look, while its large wheel arches and wide tires hint at its performance capabilities. The 370Z's LED headlights with their boomerang shape are a distinctive feature that sets it apart from other sports cars. Inside, the 370Z offers a driver-centric cockpit with a simple and straightforward layout. The seats are well bolstered and comfortable, and they are upholstered in high-quality leather. The dashboard is clean and uncluttered, with all controls within easy reach. The 370Z also offers a surprisingly spacious interior, despite its compact size. Design and comfort are certainly subjective, but it's clear that both the Supra and the 370Z have their unique charms. In the modern age, technology plays a vital role in enhancing the driving experience. 
Our two contenders, the Toyota Supra and the Nissan 370Z, have embraced this mantra, delivering a suite of technology features designed to impress. Let's start with the Toyota Supra. Its cockpit is a tech lover's paradise, boasting an 8.8-inch infotainment display that acts as your command center. Whether you're navigating the roads or jamming to your favorite tracks, the Supra system offers seamless connectivity. But it's not all fun and games. Safety is paramount, and the Supra doesn't disappoint. With features like forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, and lane departure warning, the Supra ensures that you're always one step ahead of potential hazards. The Nissan 370Z, on the other hand, is a testament to the charm of simplicity. It stands out by not trying to stand out. Its infotainment system, while not as flashy as the Supra's, gets the job done. You have access to the essentials, navigation, music, and Bluetooth connectivity. And while it may lack some of the advanced safety features of the Supra, the 370Z offers a more analog drive experience. It's a nod to the drivers who prefer to rely on their instincts and skills rather than technology. Now when it comes to driver assistance systems, the Supra once again takes the lead. It offers adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross-traffic alert. These features designed to make your drive easier and safer are absent in the 370Z. However, the 370Z doesn't retreat without a fight. It counters with its unique Synchro Rev Match feature. This system automatically adjusts the engine speed when you shift, ensuring smoother transitions and a more engaging drive. We see two different philosophies at play here. The Supra leans heavily into cutting-edge technology, providing a wealth of features aimed at enhancing safety and convenience. The 370Z, in contrast, offers a more traditional stripped-down experience that harks back to the roots of sports car driving. Whether you're a tech junkie or prefer a more analog drive, both cars have something to offer. So, we've covered performance, design, comfort, and technology, but which car comes out on top? As we've seen, both the Toyota Supra and the Nissan 370Z are high-performance machines, each with its own unique strengths. Let's take a moment to summarize what we've learned. When it comes to sheer performance, the Supra takes the crown. Its turbocharged, straight-six engine delivers a punchy 335 horsepower, making it a beast on the open road. The 370Z, on the other hand, delivers a slightly lower 332 horsepower from its naturally aspirated V6. Both cars offer a thrilling experience, but if you're after raw power, the Supra might just edge it. But power isn't everything. The 370Z's lighter weight and more compact dimensions give it a nimbleness that the heavier Supra can't quite match. If you're into tight corners and winding roads, the 370Z could be your perfect match. In terms of design, both cars have distinct personalities. The Supra's bold, aggressive lines scream power and speed, while the 370Z's more understated design hints at its refined handling and balance. Both are, in their own ways, head-turners. When it comes to comfort and luxury, the Supra takes the lead with its plush interiors and superior ride quality. The 370Z, while a bit more spartan, still offers a comfortable ride and a driver-oriented cockpit that many sports car enthusiasts appreciate. As for technology, both cars have modern features but the Supra pulls ahead with its cutting-edge infotainment system and a suite of advanced safety features. The 370Z, while not as tech-heavy, provides a more traditional driver-centric experience that purists will love. So, who's the potential buyer for each car? The Supra, with its blend of power, luxury and technology, seems perfect for the enthusiast who wants a high-performance car that doesn't compromise on comfort or tech. The 370Z, on the other hand, is ideal for the purist who values driving dynamics and engagement over outright power or luxury. In terms of situations where each car would shine, the Supra would be a blast on a high-speed highway run or a weekend road trip thanks to its powerful engine and comfortable ride. The 370Z with its nimble handling would excel on a twisty mountain road or a racetrack. In the end, whether you choose the Toyota Supra or the Nissan 370Z, you're guaranteed a thrilling ride. It all boils down to personal preference. So, which one would you pick?